Hi guys, VST here with SPX Tech. Merry Christmas to everybody. Ah, yeah. Hi guys, Venet here from Venet Tech VST. Merry Christmas to everybody out there. And yeah, Christmas miracle happened. Uh, actually, just happened. So today we have another version of the JDG. <laughs> We have another version of Gcam 7.2 by Ernix and that's the version 1.8 guys So I just wanted to do like a short kind of like VST review style of Gcam So let's just see what are the latest news here If you like my videos, you can subscribe for my channel by clicking on the subscribe button And you can also click on the notification bell so you never miss a new video Thank you So apparently uh, we have changed the way how to use the HDR and as you enhance in the portrait mode, so now there is the same switch as normal camera mode, thanks to our Nova. Fixed crash on Realme X2 Pro, and OP7 T Pro McLaren, Redmi Note 8 Pro, Begonia and Samsung devices, only Snapdragon ones for the lucky guys that get a Snapdragon Samsung device from the States, because we know that the European versions are running with Axinos. Jesus, not good. All right. Uh, Force Route 10 on front camera of OnePlus 6 and 16 out of the option to enable disable Google Photos, which you know, guys, if you have um, noticed in my reviews, I tend to use that one. Very, very important. Now let's jump rolling. Fixed astrophotography on the OnePlus 6 and OnePlus 7 series devices, thanks to Parrot. So we know that the Parrot, I think it's the Russian model, the Parrot GCAM mods already were doing great with astrophotography. Fix the resolution on AUX lens for the Mi 9 T90 Pro, thanks to Burial and fix the crash on OP7 series using some custom rows. But who the hell out there is using some custom rows and not Oxygen OS? Of course, I'm joking. So guys, you know the drill. Let's directly download it and start it. Downloading the new APK. While it's downloading guys, all the time, you know, I can't I can't enough emphasize this. Every time you install a, a new Google camera port, just go open the latest one, all right? Then just do like this, go into the settings, up info, all right? Very important then, force stop it just to be safe. Then go into storage and cache, press clear storage, press OK. Now go back and press the unit install or install and now it's, it's gone, all right? So now go back here see that APK is almost there with us. And guys, what I'm gonna do pretty much, you know you know the standard drill if you have watched my other videos, so you can check my gold camera videos collection up there. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this beast and beauty in the balcony and try to shoot a astrophotography photo. Okay, so let's just save it to the downloads and just press directly install. Do you wanna install this application? Oh yeah, that's the Christmas gift from Ernix to everybody. <laughs> application is being installed. Change the way how to use HDR Enhance in portrait mode. Now there's the same switch as normal camera mode and that's quite good because now it seems we can use the HDR Enhance in the portrait mode. Okay, camera has been installed, so I always do like this. Just take it, put it there. And the other one, by the way, if you're wondering, the other one is the Hypercam. I did a video about the latest Hypercam E3, you can see it here. So let's switch on the camera, guys. And let's tune it up, so allow, allow, allow. Okay. Pretty much same design here, so we press this arrow there, go to settings, and just make sure that we are using the latest version. And in, it's indeed, indeed the GCAM 7.2 version 1.8. Okay, so let's see what settings we have here. Save location, I always put it on while using the app. Camera sounds, you can leave it on, I usually remove that one. Google Lens suggestions, up to your taste. Frame enhance, I think it's good, especially you know when taking some pictures. Uh, in not so nice and environment it can help you save selfies previewed social share this I turn every time off but in case you want to brag it on social media with your photos you just can put it on and then just select what social apps you want to include there okay gestures not for me grid type usually if I go for something I go two by three frequent faces off and let's just go into advanced show dirty lens warning always on asia control always on raw jpeg control let's switch switch it on store videos efficiently if you want to use the h265 it's on okay lip parcher i i mean i covered this in my other video so if you want to just fine tune the settings and by the way recommended settings you can find them into the video description below so take a look you can fine tune the picture from here Pixel AW or uh, I think, uh, white balance in HDR enhanced. I don't use that one here. HDR plus enhanced, very important. That's one of the best features out there. Just keep it to 15. And then we have 
disable zoom in portrait mode if you want I don't, I don't do this enable astrophotography and let's go okay max exposure time is already set at um, 60 and uh, let's see here in the last in the previous version I think in the one the six from from the Unix camera you had to set here the specific setting is 100 time max all right but okay let's see even with those settings from the version 1.6 you know you would not usually like see the regular Aster photography you know text you just probably will have the phone taken like a two three minutes long of exposure uh, at the end of the day I have spoken with some guys you know from the telegram group and they told me that usually you know the phone is doing like probably capturing 20 30 seconds and then all the the rest of the time is just you know applying some fancy processing but okay let's go on the balcony and let's see if we're gonna get like a proper astrophotography picture right now I'm just gonna take now my tripod guys and put the OnePlus 7 Pro on the tripod and I'm gonna shoot you know and record what I see all right so let's go out there and by the way it's freezing cold I told you guys I have put my OnePlus 7 phone on the tripod and I'm not sure if you can see it but you see already that's the first thing I noticed it's a little bit different we see a message when I switch the night mode a message saying Astro uh, so let's hit night side <coughs> Okay, two seconds, 25 minutes going down, holding still. I think we should be able to see the first results uh, in probably 10 seconds, and that's hopefully the first exposure. Capturing more light, please allow. Oh, okay, now we're talking. You can see the stars, yes. I had to do, guys, already like five takes to just get a sky like this and again I want to make this disclaimer again the winds are moving so fast I mean you can notice on the picture right so I'm not sure what we're gonna get as the end product but let's try to have yeah let's try to wait and see what we have here okay right now things are looking good but with every new photo taken you're gonna see how the winds are going from the left side of your screen to the right side and even some new clouds going there right so wind is blowing so strong and the clouds are actually moving but nevertheless yeah we got a photo guys right and that's really the closest i can get to the place i want to be like on top of a mountain without any artificial lights or let's say in front of the beach just shooting to the sky okay let's see Capturing more light, let's allow the light to flow through our lens and memorize the stars. Alright, cool. Now we get another more exposure and you know, at some point you'll see that the Google camera will actually stop taking new pictures and I think this is the moment where it apparently starts processing you know, and doing all this crazy mud stuff at the picture to get the best results and that's why I just wanted to make it sure that uh, we just wait until the end and see what happens okay clearly now the first stars that have been captured uh, are now not on the screen because of the clouds moving from the left to the right side and the head is so much but it is what it is uh, clearly the astrophotography mode into the latest version 1.8 from Uranix Gcam 7.2 does work so we have a proof and I approve right, and that's good mm, but we have to wait for some better days and some better weather out there to just really put it to the real test okay right now you see it's getting blurry and we get all the clouds on the screen timer is already up to zero and I think at some point now Google is gonna stop Gcam is gonna stop taking pictures and just start applying you know and uh, processing the so-called crazy mathematics stuff that enable what we see on the screen all right but let's see wait longer for a better photo and we are already at the three minutes mark okay this one let's see last time we did a test like this we are waiting for almost like five minutes guys and I got so cold and the wind was blowing so strong it almost kind of you know blew my phone away from the tripod now I think I'm in a better position and I just hope that we're gonna get some better results. Still have to wait now. I think we are approaching the 3 minutes 30 mark since we started uh, this session. Okay, let's see. 
you see, like I told you, there are not, no more pictures are taken. Right now, GCam is fine-tuning the image, and again, I think it's just doing all the crazy mud stuff, applying and processing and trying to encounter the stars. And I'm not sure if that's an interesting test, but probably it is, because right now we have probably like eight nine pictures. First two or three were very good with some stars there, no clouds. And then a lot of pictures introduced clouds there, which apparently you know will prevent us to see some stars. And I'm eager to understand if GCam is going to try to sort this out for us and produce a picture. Uh, with stars included, which we know right now it's, it's not the case. And I can tell you, like, just look at the clouds right now, and they're moving with a very, very strong speed. Okay, so we are almost at 40 minutes and 30 seconds, guys. That's the 40 minutes, 30 seconds mark is, is best. Capturing more light. Now, that's interesting. I'm not sure if that's the case, all right? Like I told you, I think right now we're just waiting to get everything processed. All right, so I'm just gonna stop my camera, guys, and resume when we're ready. <coughs> promise, guys, I just promised to give you the results. So apparently, when there are things obstructing the view, like these clouds here, I just have to cancel the process because nothing really was uh, been able to happen. After the, the minutes of nine, I said, okay, I can just not do it anymore, but let's see the, the result because I think pretty much pretty nice. Eh? So even when it hangs like this, I think still the quality of the picture that is produced is quite okay. Now we know uh, that for some reasons, you know, GCam is taking several pictures and then trying to somehow stitch uh, them in and just, you know, perform some mad crazy stuff on it so that it can get really a best representation. This picture is quite nice and actually what we're looking here for are the stars, all right? So this is what we this is what we wanted to do. They look quite okay, guys. So far, I think I've done already like six or nine, six or seven takes. We didn't have really great success from all the previous takes, but I would say, okay, the weather is very bad and just you know, if there are no stars, then you know what kind of astrophotography you'll do. I mean, there is nothing, not enough light. So let's try to shoot something else and let's see if this will go through until the end. Okay, holding still. All right, now we see a picture is already being captured. Okay. Capturing more light. On the last two takes, guys, we went uh, almost more than five minutes and uh, somehow it all kind of stopped 70, at 75%, right? So the timer was still up. At some point the time was uh, down to zero and then we had to wait around like four minutes. So let's see what happens here. Fine tuning image, holding still, all right. Let's see. Okay, the time, uh, definitely things are really better. So compared to the last two times when there is more light. And now the time is gonna be up and I think that still the GCAM is gonna do some processing so let's see what happens. Okay, now time is up already and it says wait longer for a better photo and that's what we're gonna do. Last time uh, we reached the five minute mark and we ended up like here, but now I still, I still, now I think I see that, okay, it actually processes the whole photo, so let's see. I think this looks more optimistic. Yeah, yeah, we never went through like this, so let's see. Maybe with enough light, things... Oh, all right, so actually it did shoot a picture until the end, and Jesus Christ, it does really look, look stunning, guys. I mean, the detail and everything. Okay, all right, cool, cool, yes. So, astrophotography on the version 1.8 confirmed working, yes, approved. When there is enough light and there are no things like clouds, you know, obstructing the picture because stars are moving, but then they're not moving so, you know, quick like you know moving like quick moving clouds. It's gonna be okay, all right. But if you try to do this like I did, you know, no perfect conditions, strong wind, and then clouds really going from the left to, to the right, then it, at some point the camera will just stop, and then you probably need to just put the end button and get a view. So. From what we see, guys, I can say that the version 1.8 from the GCAM 7.2 by Uranix definitely as the photography works look quite well, very stable camera guys, so if you are using the Unix camera, just go there and update it. So I hope you like this video guys, subscribe to my channel, have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and I know, subscribe for my channel. Bye guys!